Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Catherine. It's been a hot minute since I last did a Procreate brush review, so I'm gonna do one today. I've been getting into the habit of using the same brushes over in Procreate, like the script pen, and I also use some brushes, like the watercolour brushes that I got from Design Cuts before, and I've really been getting out of the habit of adding texture to my illustrations. So today I wanted to have a little bit of an experimentation, and Tom, my good friend over at Design Cuts, has given gifted me a delicious texture brush pack for Procreate so I thought now is the perfect time to have a little bit of an experimentation and dip my toes in the water and try and do an illustration with those beautiful grungy textures so let's just jump straight into it. So this is the brush pack I'm going to be using it's got 33 delectable brushes and stamps and I just really love the illustrations on this. You get six shape filler brushes, six light texture brushes, six medium to heavy texture brushes, two greasy texty for <laughs> Texi, two greasy texture brushes, one versatile pencil brush, 12 texture stamp brushes, the super duper PDF reference guide. And these cost $15, which is great for all these brushes, I personally think. Uh, and look at these illustrations. I just love all this texture. I used to use this texture like crazy. I used to use watercolor textures and everything, but recently I've been going with a really minimalistic style and I want to get back to adding some textures and stuff in this experimentation so oh look at this so you can do like a simple drawing here and add the texture over the top to give it this beautiful effect so let's get straight into it i'm actually hosting a patreon art community challenge that we host every month this month's theme is apples so i think i'm gonna like base this illustration around apples and i think community challenges are always a fun way to experiment and stuff oh my gosh look at that Oh, that's really cool. That would make like a cool wedding invite, like just having it on that side, like a minimal wedding invite and then text over like here. Anyway, I digress. Uh, and then we've got some more stamps. So we've got the brushes, stamps, and there's loads of different variety of stamps here that you can just kind of press down. These would be good to add to backgrounds as well, to add a little texture to backgrounds like this and kind of like put an overlay effect on. Oh, this is gonna be so fun to work with, what the heck? Some more textures, greasy sponge. Ooh, look at this one. So if you press lightly, it kind of has that texture. I don't know if you can see that there. This is cool. That would be like a really, really nice texture for like jeans or adding um, dimension to clothing, I think, like a cloth or something. Let's have a look at Lisa's pencil. Oh, nice. It reminds me of the Procreate pencil. There's one called Butter Knife here as well. I want to try this one out. Oh, nice. Oh man, I really like this one. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like it a lot. So over here it says I've got four, but I actually think I've imported two by accident. So it's actually just the two you get. You get the stamps and the brushes. Please ignore them. I've kind of like duplicated them. I'm gonna do like a base illustration where it's kind of flat colors, then create a clipping mask and add textures over the top. I think I'm gonna do the base is a light pink. Surprise, surprise. And I think I'm gonna go for a red apple. So, and I'm just gonna sketch out a basic apple shape. <laughs> what is that meant to be? Maybe something like this. Then I'm gonna add a little green stalk. Actually, that would be brown. I'm gonna make that brown. Maybe just having it like that where this indentation is. Then I'm gonna add a nice green leaf, I think. This is like the most basic apple illustration you ever did see. And I think I'm gonna use a different, slightly different color. Let's do a leaf behind it over here. Round this off. This is very similar to the script pen in the calligraphy section over here on Procreate, which is what I tend to use for the majority of my line art. So now we've got like a very subtle texture from the butter knife. As you can see, it's added some little speckles here. If I coloured it all in, it probably would have added more texture, but I'm just gonna go in with the clipping mask and add texture that way. Another way you can add texture or remove texture is you can use one of these eraser pens. I'll show you an example. This is what I used to do a lot when I used to use Photoshop and I wanted that grungy look. I used to use a grungy eraser and what I would do is, let's just duplicate it so we don't damage the layer. You can just go in with the eraser and take away, kind of like it's worn away, take away some of the texture by using it. And it's just a way to add kind of texture. You can do it 
with an eraser or you can do it with a separate layer and you can use some colours. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to delete, uh, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to use some colours, I think, for shading and add add some details, like maybe some yellows to the apple by creating a clipping mask or you can even alpha lock it so it's all on one layer but I'm actually going to open a new layer and create a clipping mask for this and then it'll only draw in that layer so I'll just give you an example it'll only stick in that layer with a clipping mask I'm going to add like a yellowy colour to this apple and we're going to go and try a different brush that I like the look of let's try the salt oh herbs and spices that looks like it has kind of grain to it so that's quite large. We can reduce that down a bit. I want it more heavily textured, I think. So I'll try maybe light dusting or greater for this. Let's try greater. Oh, that's really big. Let's turn it down a little bit. Try and add some yellow here. Oh, soft door. I just like the sound of that. Oh, I like this one. This one's called soft door. This is more the texture I wanted to add that color in there. As you can see, that adds a really nice texture. Nice, now let's add to the green. Just a little bit of grunge to the green here. Might need to turn this down. It would have been better if I opened these on different layers maybe. Oh! I think I prefer it when it's a little larger and the grains are a little larger. I'm gonna go in here with the lighter texture. Nice, this is looking pretty cool already. Just adding these grungy effects just really gives the illustration like instant dimension. It's a pretty easy technique to apply and yeah, it just makes it look, ooh, this is called the smoky shader. I'm gonna just add that here. I don't quite like that as much. It goes down quite heavy, so I'm pressing quite lightly but you could turn the brush opacity down if you wanted this to be a little more subtle but yeah this is just a great way to add texture and dimension to an illustration kind of gives me like more of an editorial vibe than the way that i actually normally do things i'm going to combine these together now i'm also going to turn the pencil down and i'm going to go in at the top and just darken that up as well. well. That's looking pretty cute. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is looking pretty good with these textures so far. I'm gonna add some shading to the apple and I'm gonna select a new layer and select multiply and use a clipping mask again. I'm gonna drop from the center of the apple. I'm gonna use the red as a shading for the side. We're gonna go in again, I think with the smoky shader this time. Which one's the powder one? Ooh, powder's nice as well. But I think I'm gonna go in with the smoky shader. See what that looks like. I actually don't like that quite as much. I think I'm gonna use soft door again. I think this might be my favorite one, the soft door. So I'm gonna add some details to the leaves and stuff, what I normally would do with my illustrations by opening a new layer. I'm gonna use the button knife again, going with the button knife here, and just add some little details that I would usually add to my illustrations. Anyone who likes texture and adding texture to the illustrations, this is an absolutely fantastic way to do that. I'm gonna actually select, select this as multiply too and turn it down a little bit, turn the opacity down, so that I can use the same color the underneath as well. I actually think it's looking a bit cleaner and crisper than what I actually wanted. So I'm gonna go in with an eraser and kind of mess it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna group these, put them in one, duplicate that, and then unselect it just in case I don't ruin it. Just as an experimentation, I tend to do this. I'll duplicate the group and experiment with that layer uh, so that I don't wreck it and then I can always fall back on the original illustration rather than going right ahead and messing it up. I've merged all those layers together and I'm gonna go in with the eraser and erase some of this illustration to make it look a little more weathered. It just gives it that slightly more weathered appearance. I'm really really impressed with this to be honest. It just adds so much lovely texture. I mean look at all this texture. 
And you have seen, it wasn't that hard to create this type of effect. I particularly like the leaf bit, but like I say, it would be easier to draw each individual colour on a separate layer, but I've just drawn it all on one layer and it's worked. Now let's draw like a little cute face and make it catnip style. It's a little cute apple. Without the face, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks more, yeah, like something you would expect to find in more editorial slash commercial work. With the face, it's starting to look more catnip vibe. Um, I really like the little face that we've got going on here. Maybe I can make it, I wonder what would happen if I made it bigger, I made it smaller. Such an easy way to add texture, I love it. It's really, really nice, the texture of this. And there we have it. Our little cute textured experiment. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It's such a relatively easy way to add texture and dimension and that added style to an illustration. And these brush packs make it really, really simple and easy to add those textures and styles. I hope you learned something from this video. You can find the links to this brush pack in the description. Thank you so, so much for freaking watching. I love you so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. All right then, thanks so much for watching, goodbye.